going on guys this is jacob vile so today uh, i'm going to be doing a video on how to know what your box is tuned to for your subwoofer enclosure so a lot of people really have subwoofer boxes that are prefab or custom built or a box that they built themselves and they have no clue on hey where is my box tuned to what is my box tuned to as far as the port as well as the enclosure for the sealed section depending on what type of box you have whether you have a sealed box a ported enclosure or a sixth order a fourth order or an eighth order or a free air even you can utilize this concept that i'm going to show you in this video to find out where your box is tuned to or even the resonance of your subwoofer you can use this as a concept it'll be a lot harder with the free air but in this video i'm going to use my single 10 inch box fourth order build that i have in the back here uh, forget all the looks it's all ugly and all i'm not worried about looks but the concept of this video is what i want you to utilize for your build and if you're watching i'm sure you're curious of how to know where to set the um to locate um what my subwoofer box tuning is so this isn't going to be the most optimal way but this is the way that i've done it in the past as well so you could obviously find out near where your tuning is using a meter i do a lot of videos using a meter but this one's going to be literally nothing is required except a bluetooth or some form of um, device that's going to give you a sweep as well as decibel frequencies at different levels so say your box is tuned to 45 hertz to find out it's tuned to 45 hertz you're going to do different frequencies to find out and locate this so i'm about to go back to the back and i'm going to do these tests with you right now so go ahead and hit that like button um I try not to show my face much in videos but hey i figured why not today i will so i appreciate you guys always watching and being subscribers and i'll stay tuned for the video to see find out what my box is tuned to as well as how you can figure out your box here we go first off and foremost i uh, just want to say again my system and my box is not the prettiest but it works for the concept i'm teaching you so before anything with your amplifier you want to make sure you got your subsonic as well as your lpf set where you like it or you're happy with and of course other videos you can watch to see how to set those i'll do another video on the lpf to come so stay tuned for that one if you haven't already seen the videos for the subsonic so to how to set those but make sure your subsonic and your lpf are set appropriately otherwise this test might not work best because you need to know where your subwoofer box is tuned to and if these crossovers on your amp are cutting this off those frequencies off or not giving you the output it might not show so the ultimate goal of this is you're going to want to know where your subwoofer box is moving the least so the more subwoofer flex you get that means that your box is way out of tuning for that, that tuning frequency. So what I'm going to be using here is I have a test tone. So I'm going to, I have test tones that I can do. And as I go up and down on frequencies, I know where my box is tuned to, depending on where my subwoofer response is to these frequencies. So that's the way you're going to want to do it. Jacob, how do I get these test tones? So you can get free test tones on websites, forums. They even have Facebook groups for this. Uh, DJs have done them. Uh, I've even had YouTube sweeps that I've gotten YouTubes from. I personally got mine from a USB I bought from a DJ on Facebook. But in general, there's a lot of options for it. Just YouTube search frequencies um different frequency levels and i'm sure you'll be able to find them there also anybody can just comment suggestions so i'm sure i don't really know the best answer but i know you need this so you have different frequencies that you're going to use so i already know where my box is tuned to but i'm going to act like i have no clue so when i do this test just before i do this just remember guys that wherever you have your vehicle um your box is going to differ for this so if you're in a trunk or you're in a no wall build and your back's open or your trunk's open, your system is gonna be able, your subwoofer is gonna react differently in that enclosure. So if you got your doors open or your windows down, et cetera, your tuning could slightly change. So there's a lot of variables in this. So you're gonna be finding the box tuning based on that concept of how your, your cabin is, is where your box is located. You could do this outside the vehicle as well and it'll be able to give you the best response to be honest. When it's in a vehicle, you have more contamination or con like base contained in the enclosure. So I have a single 10 here. Uh, it's pretty loud echoey sound, but it's all right. It kind of gives me a little bit of a volume uh, gain for this test. So what I'm gonna be doing is watching my subwoofer flex while I do the test with frequency responses. And this is what you're gonna do with your system. Um, remember what I said, don't worry about looks. Mine's probably the ugliest you've ever seen, but I ain't worried about it. All right, so concept here. So let me go grab a light real quick so that way I know for sure. I have them in a fourth order with the single 10 and it's definitely um, hard to get in there with a small port. And if you're in a ported enclosure or sealed or a big walled build, it's a lot easier for you to be able to identify civil for movement when you can visually see it. While me, I'm gonna be kind of doing judgment based on how my um, subwoofer moves from a distance while you could be doing it right in front of your eyes. 
So let me get this other phone. I have another phone. I can turn the light on real quick. All right. Flash is on. That way I can turn that on. All right. Sorry about the dog barking. <laughs> so let's do this. Make sure it's on. Get it in a staged location. All right. So that's in a staged location. It's a little bit brighter. There we go. That should work. That's a lot better. Look at how much brighter that is. Anyway, so remember that you want to be able to visually see this as I do it. So you're going to do this with your system. So I'm going to get some test tones real quick. So I'll zoom out a little. All right. So let me get my test tones back. So I'm going to do a half volume. So that way it's not too loud. And let it focus. And I'm going to start at, let's just say I don't know. I'm going to start at 23 hertz. Alright, so it's low volume. You're not going to be able to see very much flex because I have the subsonic up, but that's okay. So you see how the subwoofer is moving quite a bit there? So that means I know I'm not near my frequency peak. So as you get closer to your peak, it's loud again, sorry. As you get closer to your peak, you're gonna notice the subwoofer moves less and less. So that was 33 hertz. Now I'm gonna to go to 38 hertz. So there you go, a little less movement there. So as I get closer and closer, you get less movement. Now I'm gonna try 40 hertz. even less movement so that means i'm getting closer and closer to my tuning it's really hard to see on camera especially at low volume so that's why i recommend doing three-quarter volume but i'm not doing this in that neighborhood i'm just doing it for concept to teach people so i had a couple people interested in this so i know my box is tuned to around 42 43 hertz so i'm going to do the 42 hertz right now see you could barely tell it moved so that shows that that's, that's near my peak. So now I'm going to go up to like 50 hertz. Let's see how it does. So that shows it moved more at that frequency. So as I go up, I'm moving again. So the closer your subwoofer is to not moving, the better for knowing nor tier, uh, close to where your peak is on your um, subwoofer enclosure. So whether you're a sixth order or fourth order, bandpass, um, sealed box, ported, etc. Use this concept and hopefully this taught somebody something. So just in summary, oh, sorry, I dropped it. Just in summary, you want to have frequency responses. So what I did was I started around 23 hertz and then moved my way up. My subsonic was turned up so I didn't have that frequency it cut off so you wouldn't be able to tell. But if you're at three quarter volume, you'll definitely be able to know for sure. So right when I was around 36 hertz, it started slowing down on motion. I did 39 hertz and it was slowing down more. I got 41, 42 hertz and then it was perfect to where it didn't hardly move. And then I tried 50 hertz just to show you that it moved again. So that's the summary of what I did. And that's what you're gonna do with your box if you wanna know exactly what you're tuned to. So it doesn't matter what type of enclosure, you can do this concept to find out exactly what you're tuned to. You literally just do frequency sweeps and you can figure it out. So a lot of people would start if you just want to make it really quick, you can just do a sine sweep. I'll do that real quick just for entertainment purposes. You can use a sine sweep, so say 20 to 50 hertz, and that'll show you close to where your subwoofer is moving the least and most. So let's do that as well, just for fun, why not? Watch this. That's 20. So I use a sweep. It's really hard to see at low volume. That's why I recommend doing high volumes for this. Uh, sorry about the looks, but I appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead and hit that like button. I hope I taught somebody something. 
That's all it takes. It's really straightforward. You can find out what your tuning is in your box in under five minutes. Just with the frequency responses as well as a sweep if you want to use it that way. And three quarter volume. And just see, see how it goes and you'll find out where your subwoofer stops moving the least. So I take the flashlight out. Look at how much less that is. Wow, it's a lot harder to see. Anyway, stay tuned for more videos to come. Subscribe if you haven't. And this is Jake and Vile out. Later. Anybody who's been watching, yes, I added a little bit to the port just to see how it is. I don't think it liked it, but oh well. We'll see how it does. You're going to be doing some more work on the port as well. Probably take this out and this out and see how I gain or lose. Keep tweaking the port since I did the sealed section from the last video you guys saw. But yeah, stay tuned. That was a little teaser.